welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you guys doing? Are you having a lovely December? I really, really hope so. And I'm just sending lots of like festive cuddles and love to you guys through the screen. In today's video, I finally managed to sit down and actually do some more styling videos because I'm not gonna lie, like right now is 2 p.m. and the sun, my room is so dark, like that I, I just don't know what to do. Like I try and film as much as I can by two, but the light just goes completely and then everything goes very gray and washed out. And uh, yeah, I'm basically having to film as much as I can in this time that I've got with the lighting. And then it's meant that I haven't been able to film as much as I usually do in terms of styling videos for you guys. So, so if there's kind of like a little bit less of that, that is why, <laughs> because I'm trying to like work around Christmas, like festive kind of like activities that I've got going on alongside doing that. And the light is not on my side at the moment, but hopefully the light in these outfits is okay and you guys can see the looks and the colours all good and things like that. I try and adjust, sometimes if it's like too dark I adjust the brightness slightly but I try and keep them non-edited because I don't want to affect like the colour of the clothing pieces and things like that. But in today's video I thought I would do a little kind of roundup of more kind of cosy summer festive, summer just cosy kind of outfits for winter and for December. So basically just a round up of some outfits that I'm loving right now for the December months. Also maybe some ideas for Christmas day, also some ideas maybe for like moving into January and that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So for outfit number one, I have gone for kind of like, this for me is kind of like a casual glam kind of outfit. So it's something that I would wear for like dinner with family when I want to be comfortable, but I want to be a little bit dressed up and you can easily take this outfit from being dressed up like this like I've done here into more day wear by styling with jeans and just chunky boots so I kind of thought I would show the more dressed up version so you can kind of see the details of this but styling these amazing kind of black little sparkly detailed tights which I don't know if the camera fully picked up in this video so I I may leave on the screen here like the reel of me putting them on so you can kind of see the detail of them but they are just stunning and then my current fave kind of going out evening piece in my wardrobe is my fate leather shorts I just feel like they work really nicely at kind of like dressing up outfits but then working really nicely with tights and like roll neck knits and blazers and layering and things like that so I've been living in them and I love styling them with like different kind of roll neck black tops and then pop of colour coats or blazers because I feel like it's quite difficult at the moment to dress with pops of colour when you need to be so layered up sometimes and adding those little bits of subtle colour is something that I really do love doing and I always try and do within most of my outfits apart from today, I'm in all black, <laughs> but I usually do like an underlayered kind of pop of colour blazer under a coat and things like that, but then this coat I just feel like brings any neutral outfit to life, it's that beautiful kind of like ready orange colour and it's super super soft, I've unfortunately had this for about a year and a half but I have found three or four different similars in different kind of tones of red that I think are gorgeous and the red just kind of screams Christmas and December to me and I wore this around to the markets in Brighton the other day and then to dinner obviously took off the coat but I did bring a black blazer because I needed like a little added extra layer with the weather that we've been having because it's so cold but I thought a bit of festive sparkle still sticking with the neutrals but just making that kind of outfit pop a little bit with that bit of red and also I feel like any outfit you have for evenings or for every day and you want to add a tiny touch of sparkle then just invest in your favorite kind of sparkly tights or glitter tights or anything like that because I feel like it really brings the outfits to that more kind of festive feeling festive feeling festive kind of vibe <laughs> Next up, this is a neutral kind of cosy look that I am loving. I, again, styled the tights because just adding a little bit of touch of sparkle to the look and kind of dressing up the outfit with these hilled boots from River Island. These are so comfortable. So if you have any kind of outdoor events kind of things happening where you're kind of taking a look into like dinner sitting down a jumper dress tights and boots for me is kind of my go-to for that as well just being super snug and comfortable and you can always add a little bit more detail to a look by potentially adding a red lip or a like purple kind of mauve lip or something like that that's quite bold and statement when you've got more of those neutral outfits but then also adding a belt to any kind of jumper dress that you have or if you've got jeans and like a roll neck jumper like I'm wearing now then 
and adding an accessory so like gold layer jewelry a chunky gold belt or silver belt and that kind of thing just kind of brings those outfits into the more kind of evening kind of feel which is one of my go-to's just elevating those looks with accessories but how amazing is this coat <laughs> it is so snuggly i love the patchwork like print of this i think it's so fun and a little bit more different than going for like a classic cream or black coat and is so soft and snuggly so believe me when i say i'll be living in this over the next coming months next up another little jumper dress outfit but with the cream neutrals i really love in the winter months styling those kind of check jackets, slouch coats, anything like that with lots of tonal pieces and I usually focus a lot of my outfits when I'm kind of picking something out for the day around a coat because everyone's gonna see it so for me I always pick up on those kind of like check detail prints within any of those check jackets or jackets that I have in my wardrobe so with this one I was picking up on the cream tones and the beige tones and kind of doing a little bit more of a free color rule but staying within the neutrals and just keeping it very tonal which I love doing I feel like it makes an outfit feel very together and quite cozy and nice and I love jumper dresses and this one here in particular I actually did have leg warmers on under my boots I have to mention because there is a bit of leg showing and I feel like a lot of people have been saying that isn't a winter outfit but believe me when you're wearing a long coat it can be a winter outfit I promise I have tried and tested it and as long as your legs are covered by a coat I feel like I personally don't mind wearing looks like this right now but of course you could add fleece tights or just like double layered tights or anything like that to keep a little bit more cozy but the high knee boots for me are also a go-to of most of my outfits even with like fake leather leggings just to keep my legs a little bit warmer as well just by having more covered which is ideal and then again using a belt just to kind of like tie in the waist of the jumper and add a little bit more detail to kind of pick up on the like the colors in the coat which I thought was quite nice but this coat again is super old I hope you guys don't mind me kind of using pieces that are I've had for a while in my wardrobe I'm not kind of buying anything new right this minute I'm just kind of using things that I love and have had in my wardrobe for a while so I will always find alternatives for you guys and anything like that and of course leave them linked down below but a lot of the pieces I've had for two, three years in my wardrobe and I just love them so I never feel like I need to like reinvest in those classic pieces but hopefully I can find near enough similars for you guys if you are looking to invest in any pieces like that. Next up, this is a very glam kind of neutral outfit that again, jumper dress, I keep, I didn't actually realise I put free jumper dresses in this video but this one for me is like Christmas day dinner outfit that I'm actually going to be wearing when I go and see my grandparents in Cornwall we're going to like a really nice restaurant and I like to wear like something quite cozy and this is a really lovely fluffy white dress that is really really comfortable for having a little roast dinner with the family and just being cozy and snug at the same time and I love styling like an all white neutral outfit as well I feel like it just reminds me of like snow <laughs> so I feel like it's very festive very December kind of feels and I love this coat it's from Ted Baker I want to say and I think they still got it they keep like re-bringing it out so hopefully I can link this but I love a tailored jacket for kind of keeping outfits very evening kind of styled and I feel like it works really nicely at kind of dressing up those more casual pieces so this jumper dress could be dressed down with those chunky kind of low high knee boots and like a fluffy fake fur coat or beanie as well and scarf and layered up in that way for every day but then for evenings I feel like a tailor coat really kind of takes it into night which is a really lovely way of kind of taking your fave snuggly kind of more dressed down casual pieces into evening looks next up this neutral kind of satin skirt outfit adding the pop of pink just to add some color to more of those neutral like black pieces in my wardrobe I literally adore a satin skirt in the autumn winter months I feel like it works really nicely at kind of having a more kind of put together dressed up outfit that you can style endless ways from day to night and for me styling with any kind of roll neck whatever the color is definitely one of my go-to ways of styling satin skirts right now especially when like going out and about but this for me would be like again it could be for Christmas day if you want to be just like adding a little bit of something something you could add sparkly hair clips a different color lip things like that or just kind of have the satin skirt as something that stands out I love the champagne colored ones if you prefer more neutrals in your wardrobe then going for like a core kind of black or champagne colored satin skirt is always a go-to for me I feel like I'd always say it would be a go-to if you go for more of those neutral tones in your wardrobe so they can be styled multiple ways like that I just personally wear a lot of pink in my wardrobe and 
I kind of see the pink as like a capsule kind of piece for me just because I have so many different shades and tones of pink pieces and I'm constantly gravitating towards this colour so styling with black I feel like just really brings the pieces to life and I am super layered up with little thermals on underneath I got these like quarter length thermal leggings from M&S and under satin skirts they are a dream I'm wearing the neutral beige ones under this one at the moment so that it kind of like goes down to the high knee boots that I'm wearing but absolute game changer just having thermals underneath any kind of outfit that you're wearing but I just feel like the skirt just brings any outfit to life and looks great with like a hill boot but then also looks good dressed down with little kind of flat boots as well. Next up a cosy kind of like everyday outfit these blue jeans and how cute is this bucket hat and mitten combo they are actually the well the bucket hat is actually reversible these are from Primark I rarely ever go in there but I was going in for Christmas socks and then I saw these and I was like that's really cute so I'm gonna wear this a lot and it is such a perfect kind of sized bucket hat I know that sounds really bizarre but I don't know if any of you guys can relate to the fact that a lot of like previous bucket hats that I've had just don't fit my head maybe it's my head size I don't know but this one just is like quite roomy and you can kind of choose and kind of structure it quite nicely because of the like fake leather in the inside that is then reversible so you can kind of pick and choose but absolutely loved the mitten and hat combo and I thought I kind of pair it using like a free color rule here with blue jeans which are just a classic for me in autumn and winter I've actually got my leggings on underneath these I was so cold filming this video so I was fully kind of thermaled up while filming every outfit but got the raw neck on and then really cozy oat milk kind of I, oat milk I always say oat milk but I, it's like oatmeal isn't it that kind of color that's that kind of beigey toned jumper that I thought would go quite nicely with the details of the teddy hat and the mittens but then adding the black coat black scarf black boots just to kind of add a bit more kind of darker tones to the look that would go with my bag and things like that as it kind of feels more like an everyday outfit when I do this with my pieces and I do feel like it goes nicely with the kind of black details of the mittens and the hat in this as well but this for me is just a classic very very layered up adding all the hats scarves gloves anything I can find and then a tiny little heeled boot with some blue jeans it just kind of gives like an everyday kind of dressed up outfit a little bit like for me this would be like brunch with the girls going to any like kind of casual meetings that I may have and things like that this for me would be that kind of outfit start again kind of doing the same kind of rules here with the colors and the pieces picking up on three different kind of tonal pieces and also like I said with jackets and jackets I always pick up on those colors within the coat that I am wearing and kind of start around that so this coat I've had for 10 years which is and the shoes kind of blows my mind that I've had them for so long but I never got rid of these when I was working at Topshop this was like my favorite outfit ever and this is actually kind of a throwback because this whole outfit is Topshop so when I used to work there I used to kind of get uniform allowance and I used to constantly live in pretty much one outfit for like a cons like well about two weeks I used to just live in it and people used to be like Indu you know you have more uniform allowance to kind of like stock up on other things and I was like no I'm obsessed this is my outfit <laughs> so I literally lived in this coat and boot combo and the jeans for so long and I feel like it's a really nice again December kind of outfit adding a bit of the red or any kind of coats or jumpers that you might have that have the kind of like splashes of red and orange and greens and things like that are so nice this time of year and also styled with those beige pieces never underestimate I feel like it really kind of elevates those red tonal pieces and brings those looks to life a little bit more as well so I love doing that with most of my outfits and I feel like this one for me is like that kind of perfect everyday outfit that I love wearing for lunches shopping errand running whatever it is I just feel very put together in it and I love the tones of the red as well I actually may style this on Christmas Eve potentially with fake leather leggings maybe and like chunky black boots just to have like a layer that has a bit more something something but that's really lightweight to take out for drinks because we're just going to the pub so I feel like having something that I can kind of take off and just have like a little knit underneath might be quite nice because there's always heaters at the pub and I get so hot under them so I feel like that will be kind of my go-to of adding like a little bit more colour to outfits like that over the next coming months. 
Next up, adding a bit of festive sparkle with this gorgeous sequin gold skirt. I feel like you guys can do this with any sequin skirt that you have in your wardrobe. And I've just styled with this little cozy knit that has little gold details in as well. This is probably gonna be my boxing day maybe outfit. I've got family coming over and we usually go for like a nice walk. So I feel like I need to be like super layered up and then also have like something that I can then get dressed up in and have like fluffy socks but then a bit of sparkle for around the dinner table and seeing loved ones and having champagne and things like that so it's a lot of like food and drink and kind of we like to dress up a little bit on boxing day more than christmas day personally in my family we like to spend the whole day on christmas in our pjs for as long as possible so i like to get dressed up at some point and i feel like having a sequin skirt like this is a perfect way of doing so and maybe a festive kind of tinsel knit or things like that just to make it a little bit more christmassy but I just love the coat in this outfit. It's from Miss Selfridge on ASOS and it is so warm. If you are looking to invest in like a super, super cuddly neutral coat, I seriously recommend this. I adore it. I am <laughs> currently even planning an outfit for tonight to wear it out because it is just so snuggly. I can't even explain. I wish you guys could feel through the screen of like how warm this is. Even wearing it in this video actually warmed me up because my room and my house at the moment is like minus two. So <laughs> it was so nice being warm in this outfit. But yeah, I just love this one. I think this was probably my fave one from the video, but let me know what you guys like in this video. I'd love to know as well, like which outfit you would go for or which outfit was your fave and that kind of thing too. Then lastly, going for a kind of like going out, cuddly, kind of classic winter outfit for every day, for evenings, whatever it is. And something that I gravitate towards a lot is my fake leather leggings, chunky black boots and black roll neck. I layer up this kind of well, these three pieces are locked in the autumn winter months. It's kind of my go-to, especially being in the UK, having fake leather leggings on because the water kind of just glides off them. So I feel super warm and I know that if it does rain, I'm not going to get like my jeans absolutely soaked. It just kind of like glides off and I'm still dry and I can sit somewhere and not be soaking wet in like a puddle or anything like that. But I thought I would kind of like make this a little bit more festive. I've added a little layer with a kind of tinsel black sequined detailed blazer. It's very, very subtle. So I don't know again if the camera picked this up in this video, but I thought to make it a little bit more festive, this was a kind of like a cute kind of layered up way of adding a little bit of subtle sparkle if you want to do that in your wardrobe as well. And the coat is gorgeous. I've been wearing the coat a lot just because it adds such a nice like pop of color to any of those neutral outfits. And I've really been gravitating towards Towards lots of like black looks at the moment which is really unlike me I usually wear quite a lot of color but I've just been finding it like very much in my comfort zone with the outfits that I'm wearing and things like that so adding a pop of color coat is a really nice way to kind of elevate those looks and have a little bit more something something you can also do it with like pops of color knits and things like that as well but I definitely want to invest in like a bright blue knit because I feel like that would look great with fake leather leggings and chunky boots as well but yeah Anyway, they are some of the very kind of random cozy outfits that I'm loving and kind of a little bit of festive kind of touches to some of them. Some of them are way more festive than others, but I'll leave links to everything down below like I normally do. And if you have any questions about the pieces, then do let me know. And if there is anything you guys want to see from me, then I would love to know as well. I always, always, always try and get around to like what you guys recommend and what you guys ask for. So please leave a comment down below if there is anything in particular. It really means a lot. It helps me out with ideas as well. And I appreciate you guys all being here and watching today's video. I hope you guys are good and I hope you have a lovely rest of your December and Christmas and New Year's and all that kind of thing. Just in case you don't watch any more of my videos and I wanna say that to you guys in this one, then I will see you guys in the next one if not. And yes, yeah, sending lots of love to you all. Lots of love guys, Mwah. bye.